Hello, we're back. This time is not a regular episode, but a theory crafting episode with the man, the myth, the legend, Chunk Lee. Hello, everyone. I'm Chunk Lee. I am one of the developers for the Chunk Picker for R3. I mainly work with Source Chunk, and who, for those who don't know him, is the one who developed the original old school RuneScape Chunk Picker. Yeah, he's a. Uh... He's a very interesting man, honestly. He has a lot of work uh, on his back. And you guys help him out. It's you and uh, who else? Uh, Gnome, right? Uh, yes. Let us know. Occasionally helps out with filling extra tasks. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so today's episode, we were going to go over the chunks that I have you know, left to unlock. I'm about to unlock 99 range, but that's going to have its own you know, uh, video and trailer and stuff. But on the meantime, since I haven't finished that, we're going to go ahead and theorycraft about the upcoming chunks and what grinds are going to be uh, deadly or, you know, what chunks are going to be free or like they're going to have the least amount of grind whatsoever. So let's go ahead and jump. We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to go clockwise to the top. Uh, the first chunk we have here is chunk one, which is unlocks 91 farming. And that's probably one of the worst chunks we have available for us, right? Uh, yes, it is. The actual grind would be pretty terrible, considering you have very few actual farming plots left. Right. At this point, or available at this point. Yeah, I mean, the only thing why the, the will be bad is because there's a f massive farmer there. And that's just going to be a headache to unlock, especially to unlock the seed, because it's very rare. and. I'm not sure like what what the rate, rates are, but if the rates are very, very bad, then that just means that I'm just going to be stuck there thieving him until he drops the seed. And then I got to get to 91 farming. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he is talking about the Master Farmer pickpocketable seed. Yeah. For the Felsalk herb. Yeah, correct. That's just going to be... Plus, you know, we don't have the other chunks here, but if... I end up unlocking more chunks to the right. That just makes it even worse for me because I'm getting closer to two chunks where I don't want to even be close to, which is the Tavoli Chunks, which unlocks Summoning, 99, and 120 Herblore. But that's for another video in the future once I get closer to these two chunks. Chunk, is there anything else that I missed on Chunk 1? Uh, you might be actually able to progress a little bit more in the Merlin's Crystal Quest. Okay. Yeah, I actually haven't been up here at all in the in this castle since. There's nothing in there for me to do when I unlocked it. I was very sad. There's like some thieving stuff there. That's 80, 83, but I can't even do it because I don't have the what's the the item called that you you know that you put in your ears and then you safe crack. Stethoscope. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't even have that item, so I can't even do the the thieving there. And everything else is a quest related uh uh thing in there. So I am not even like close to doing to do any of that stuff no you'd be able to progress the quest but you would not be able to finish it yet yeah correct so chunk three right that's what we're jumping on next so that will be 90 wood cutting which is free since i already have 95 that also unlocks 95 fletching 95 99 fire making sorry flax and maybe hopefully if i decide to do it uh 30 divination which it's unlockable through a DND. That's uh, it's every every day, twice you can do it. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, um, you will of course have to do the fletching and the fire making for the cape. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the divination, depending on what you want to do for the DND, it you might have to go to eighty five to disable oh, right. the ancient automatons. Yeah, and the enraged ones, which. Yeah. It shouldn't be very. It shouldn't be bad. Using Cotixian Cash is one of the fastest methods to train divination to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that bad uh, as long as I'm doing that twice a day, and then also like you know the 99 fire making, and then uh, sorry the 99 fire making, and then 95 um, fledging. So I might just reach 85 divination. You should get pretty close. Just while training the other school requirements for that chunk. Yeah, that won't that probably won't be won't be a problem to be honest. 
And, and you will get your nice best in slot elder sharpo. <laughs> let's go, dude. Let's go, bro. Like, <laughs> it's been so bad using uh, an oak. Yeah, an oak one. A sh a sh an oak shield bow. <sighs> so bad. So bad. So bad. I can't. I can't, man. I can't. But I mean, hey, I have something special for that for the, for, for the, when the video comes up. But anyway, um, then the next chunk will be five, right? Which is the uh, uh, mono farm. Over here, we have. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, you can go ahead and take this, Lee, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, the mana farm has several large grinds. Most of them are a little bit dependent on your construction. Mm -hmm. Whether you're going to be using daily challenges to skip ahead with them. But the grinds that are going to be there regardless is farming reputation. Along with that, you will unlock a bloodwood tree seed, uh, tree patch. Oh, God, no. Which will require... 93 fletching yeah and as well as any pens that you will unlock and any farming animals you will be required to unlock the full breeding log right other than that is there anything else that's i mean because this chunk seems very like um time gated um there are a lot of ways there to train more actively mm -hmm. they're not good but you get the beehives, you get all the various farm animals, you get the manure mount, an extra set of allotments, herb patch and flower patch. It'd be a long chunk, mm -hmm. but you would be training in one of the better, like you'd have a good amount of training methods at that point. Right. I also just realized that uh, I would also have to buy every single item in the that the granny provides, right? The, with the, with in the, the, beam, the beam shop. The beam shop, yeah. Um, yes, there's a few repeatable items there, like consumable stuff mm -hmm. that you wouldn't really need, but most of them you'd kind of just get through the grind anyway. You'll likely have thousands of extra beans afterwards. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully I'm able to, like, after I'm done with this chunk, just have all that stuff to buy it off the bat. But no, like, no issue. And, uh, well, that's it for that chunk, right? Are we missing anything else? Um, that should be it. Uh, people should expect a farming grind of at least 100. There is, of course, the risk that you obtain a money tree seed. This right. is possible through the farming contracts. Yeah. At which point, there will be a 119 farming grind. Oh, Lord. We can just hope it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. We're going to be very optimistic about that. Um, but that's pretty much it for this chunk. Other than just, you know, very time gated and um, a lot of a lot of content. You'll be shoveling a lot of manure. Yeah, a lot of poop. Yep. All right, uh, let's go ahead and jump to chunk six. In chunk six, we have, of course, this one locks the fishing guild for us, which is, you know, the main... It's not, it's not even in the chunk, but just the door is there, it's on the way. Um, so this unlocks 99 fishing, it unlocks 99 cooking, because we're able to do, um, what's this thing called, um, deep sea fishing. And selfish require uh, 99 cooking. That's one horrible grind that I'm not looking forward to with a without a cooking cape. But whatever. This also unlocks the fish, uh, fish flangers, which is in there as well um the fish and some as well wallop. um the fish fingers would be wallable it would not however be required to get yet right is there anything else that i'm missing uh actually yes there's a few okay uh in the actual chunk of chunk six you will have access to the chaos Druid tower Ooh, on the, okay. uh, there will be ogres and chaos roots there. Nothing really important. Um, but I think that's your first opportunity to get access to uh, long bones and curve bones. Ooh, nice. Also, you will need to get, um, I think, around 50 thieving. Let me check. 59 thieving. 59 to, uh, Get to the area with uh, ogres. Okay, that's not bad. I'm I'm actually very close to that. Thanks to the new 
they've been updating where I can just constantly thieve uh, men and women without getting stopped. I love it. Uh, to be exact, it will be 46 to thieving to enter the tower and okay. 59 to loot the chest. Okay. Which is actually a decent source of blood runes. And this is the blood rune chest, right? Yes. Okay. The only mm. issue is I don't think you can actually use it yet. Oh, so because if you, uh, no, but if you fill the chest, uh -huh. you will be teleported to the center of Arda Ardan Market. So it's not really safe to actually loot the chest until you have the Ardan Market unlocked in Easter Down. So does that mean that that chunk becomes unlockable, uh, rollable the moment I, I unlock I this not, chunk? I am not exactly sure about your rules for that. It, it would be a teleport, it'd be a guaranteed one. Yeah, then that'd be allowed. It, then yes, that would make it unlockable. Oof, that's actually the very first chunk that we'll have like that. That takes us to another part of the map. That's actually very interesting. Yes. But wait. I think with... Yes. Because that only happens if the chest is... It's uh, uh, If I miss the chest, right? If the chest is not successfully locked, I mean, um, thieved. But... Yes. So what happens? Once I get higher different levels, I mean that it won't teleport me anymore. I don't think there is a level at which you can fail or like never fill the chest anymore. I think there's always a chance of failing. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware. Okay. I mean, if anything, I'll just bring it up uh, later on. But that's something, that's something to look into actually because it's very, very oh, interesting. Um, specifically. I think it's actually on success you teleported. Oh. Yes. So it, it's guaranteed. Oh, okay. You, you won't have to worry about it at all. Okay. I, with okay. this, I think this is one of your best chunks to actually unlock. Six, I'd, right? Yes. It, it will give you... It will... It is a good trine. Like 99 cooking and fishing is not terrible, especially with access to deep sea fishing. Right. And it will make most of our down rollable for you, which takes you away from worse crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. We don't want to go towards the right, or which we'll touch on later, later in the video, one of the chunks over here. Um, so is that all for chunk six, right? Uh, that should be about everything for now. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and jump to chunk seven. Um, Chunk seven. Uh, sorry, no, not seven. That that should be eight, not seven. I just I was uh, messing yeah. around with the. Uh, if you refresh your site, it will. That also works. Yeah, that also works, right? Okay, so, uh, chunk eight, which is more herb lore and farming, because uh, yes. I unlock. Uh, sorry, it's yeah more herb lore and farming. I also unlock the drag weapons, which I can't even use. But the reason why it's more herb, more herb lore and farming grind is because. Uh, fell stack, correct? Uh, actually, no. It is moss giants, Tor which will torso. drop you a torso seat. Torso. It okay. is like chunk one, except easier. It's a lower <laughs> level version of chunk one. Right. <laughs> also, I mean, similarly to chunk six, it will give you access to the long curve bone drops that you will need to get for the collection lock. Uh huh. Oh, that's right. Wait a minute. This also means that I can make. Does this mean that I need to get 96 armor? Um, because I can make an overload? No, right? You you can't make. You don't have the materials to make overloads. Oh, okay. I was about to be, get very, very scared. Um, because 96 armor is going to be a pain in the ass without, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. You, you'll need at least limp words, eye of nudes, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, mm -hmm. potato cactuses, wines of Zamrak to make overloads. So it's not a worry for you for a while okay that's that's reassuring to hear okay that's good that's good um that's pretty much all in this chunk correct um yes the okay. Rosaldo sells some dragon weapons mm -hmm. but they are the dragon dagger and offhand version which you cannot equip without lost city so Ooh. i guess you'd have to get her 60k to buy them but other than that Right. Can't just, actually use them. They'll just be collecting dust in the bank. <laughs> yep. 
it, it's just the same for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, who, who sells the dragon longsword? I swore it was him. I uh, know it's always been a drag there for him, even way back in the past. Okay. All right, just making sure because I, I had no idea why I thought that it was. He also sold the dragon longsword for some reason. There are a few useful items here that mm -hmm. he sells. The first and most important one is, of course, the pink cloak. Because, I mean, who doesn't want a pink cloak? <laughs> uh, here it is, right? This stuff right here, yeah. Uh, there is actually a more important item. He sells a green man's ill, which will boost your herbal level by one, which can save what? you a level. What? Yo, that is so good. Oh, is this what I think it is? A limestone brick? This is for construction. Yes. Um, if you ever get a house, you will have some limestone to work with. Uh, oh, other useful God. items. I mean, there are, of course, items like olive oil. Those don't matter. You're not going to be able to use those uh -huh. for a long time. Uh, a different one that is useful, though, is swamp paste. Okay. I don't think you have any direct uses for it yet, but it is required in so many quests. It is one of the best ways to train invention in the future, so it will be nice to have the store unlocked and just buy it out every day. Invention? How, how come? Um, you can make you use swamp tar or swamp paste mm -hmm. to make, um, I think, Herolander tar. Okay. I think actually never. T I think you might, I might be making a mistake. I think you need swamp tar for that. Oh, okay, swamp tar. Yeah, I mean, I, I know swamp tar. You also need, need it for the lizards as ammo. Uh, yes. However, they are actually a great way to uh, train invention. Mm -hmm. Since even though it's an ammo, it doesn't consume it by the 50 when disassembling. It consumes them by the 1. Right. So 1 herb and 15 tar can be used to like make 15 Herolander tar, which disassembles for some of the best simple components, as well as a lot of experience. Or at least the most you're going to get out of a disassembly. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, and now I think that we can both agree that this is by far the freest chunk and the most dangerous one out of any uh, chunk. Yes. Not only wouldn't it... There is nothing there you can do from your side. Mm -hmm. as, except for start a waterfall quest. There's right. a little construction grind, but it's not like you can actually train construction. Okay. Um, there's literally nothing else you can do. It's an immediate reroll. However, it will make the chunk north to it rollable. Yep. Barbarian Assault. And having that one would be, well, <laughs> <laughs> dreadful. Uh, having both of those chunks together would require you to get... 90 agility actually no it wouldn't no 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 because I, I i need to i will need to have you, you, the you can't uh, they can't you don't have a bar crawl several bars and stuff what i will require you to get is all the various best in slots from the ancient caverns mm -hmm. as much from the barbarian training as you can but you will also be doing the two boat grind two bones grind for the dragon full helm We've all s we have all seen how that went for Slay Brother. <laughs> However, he had actual gear and Dragonfire protection. Yeah. And I don't have any of that. It will be fun. It will definitely it will definitely definitely be a, a, a fun thing to watch me struggle and um, mold, you know, with a lot of pain, depression, headaches, anxiety. Ex ex I can't even say this word. Uh in such a dread i guess that's how you say it. frustration you yeah. know all that good stuff but yeah th this chunk right here will definitely be literal literal death uh I'm, I'm not even looking forward to this i like and it's literally rollable just because i can you know it's next to this chunk and this is so dangerous uh, yeah uh, currently it is just it won't do anything but getting it will just bring you to one roll away and it would be good to remember that that's not the only thing that happens if you roll barbarian assault because you will of course get access to barbarian assault which means 
well, Granite Blade Party, right. all the various Barbarian Assault ranks, and everything that comes with that. You know what? That might be true because even though it's a mini game, it has best in slot. It will be best in slot. Ah, uh, yeah, it will have several best in slots for you. Oh my god, dude. Realization. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you could technically see in backlog, as there are no other chunkers that can actually do it with you. Right. Maybe. Though, then again, as a content creator, you might have some people willing to go for out. some waves with you. <laughs> hey, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I have people like willing to go to the with me, we'll, we could just like bang it out in like less than a week. Uh, yes. The main items that you might want to look out for from there. Uh, the High Gamble can give you Dragon Chain Bodies and Dragon Helmets. Mm -hmm. Not Full Helm. Just doesn't count. It's not a replacement for the... <laughs> yes. The, sta the stats are the same, but it does not replace the Full Helm. Because the Full Helm is, of course, a Collection Lock slot. That's, that's right. Yeah. It is. Oh, God damn. This is so... <laughs> so bad. So, so bad. Well... Let's not look at this chunk no more. Let's just go, <laughs> go ahead and jump to the next one. Uh, four. It's literally free. There's no risk involved in this one. Other than, you know, uh, I think there's an allowment here that I unlock. Uh, uh, hops, to be specific. Hops, okay. And the... the what will be the level requirement for that? Will that be... Uh, there are a few rare seeds that are high level requirement, like Grapevine. But mm -hmm. you should not have access to anything beyond Wild Bloods, which is a requirement of 28. 28 Wild Bloods, yeah. Which is, I'm, you already have that, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm 51, I think, or something like that. It would just give you an extra patch to work with. There's no grinds there. Um, it would give you more chance of going towards Relica. Plenty of reasons not to want to go there. Definitely, yeah, definitely a lot of reasons not to go there. <laughs> but the chunk itself is safe and not that much to worry about. Rolling it first will make all of your other farming chunks just a tiny bit easier. Definitely, but it will, it will just be another immediate, immediate reroll. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump to the last chunk we have available to us to roll. And that would be chunk two. And is if I have it here, if I roll this chunk, the first thing we actually... There is, yeah, it's right here in the very corner of the chunk. This unlocks fishing for us. Yes. Which also unlocks fishing contest, which will be the very first quest we would do in the account, which is good because I will get to work on the special quest thing that I had in mind. I can actually finally put it to, to the test. Uh, yes. The chunk will bring very few grinds with it. Mm -hmm. You'll only need to get uh, the fishing level to fish for uh, salmon in the lake to the south. Right. Uh, you, you will need to obtain the golden trout and golden salmon eggs, but in my experience, it's not more than three hours each. Okay. Like at, at worst. <laughs> uh, the only risk that comes with it is the chunks that become rollable after rolling too. You'll get a lot closer to Relica, you get a lot closer to Keldegrim. Yeah, I'll, I'll finally and be able to say hi to Noob. <laughs> you will be. Um, there is one thing though. The moment you complete fishing quests, you can take the underpass Correct. through underneath White Wolf Mountain, mm -hmm. meaning that the White Wolf Mountain chunk, the main chunk, will become World War for you. Yeah. Which would bring you closer to Tavoli by a significant margin. Yeah, and like we said before, Taverly is a no-no, it's a no-go. We don't want to go there. Again, for the same reasons that I said, it was mainly because, it's mainly because honestly of um, Herblore, which requires 120. Also because of summoning, you know, it requires the charms and the only good mob that drops charms in my chunks that I have right now, it's the giant bats. And those are a pain to kill since they're not aggro to me anymore. Uh, but that's pretty much it, honestly. Those are the these chunks right here are the only ones that, are, that scare me the most, right? Uh, so I mean, we can say that this chunk is is easy, but it like like Lee said, uh, it does bring forward a lot of you know future grinds that are not gonna be 
enjoyable just because it unlocks the waifu mountain on the pass and that right there is also death as well ah uh, yes uh, another thing that comes with the tunnel you will be able to buy rune limbs as well as uh, mahogany's uh, used stocks there okay which means you'll be able to make a rune crossbow unstrung i'm not sure if you can get Ooh. Uh, a string for a crossbow yet if you have any cows you can uh, i think cows are a little bit lower yeah cows are like cows are literally right there i just can't enter because yeah they are in the next junk which is the death junk it would be a little bit of a fletching grind for level 69 actually yeah to make the rune crossbow that should be so pog to get a rune crossbow Oh I, like I said, I'm not sure if you can actually make it. Two does have bears, but I'm not 100% sure if their meat works to make sinew. Oh, that's right. It has grizzly bears. Mm, bear fur. Uh, you, uh, the meat is what you need. Oh, the meat? Sorry. Oh, yes. I just closed the tab out. Uh, the meat. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can make sinew, so you can make a rune crossbow. The shop also sells rune bolts, so it would be a decent upgrade. There it is. That'll probably put a dent in my in my cash, which I don't and have much of. They only have a stock of ten bolts, so just ten. It, yes, they will How? sell the other bolts at a higher rate, but <sighs> How fast does it take to for the bolt to come back? Uh, I think this is a daily restock. Oh, that sucks. That's just sound. That just sounds horrible. That sounds yeah, it's so not too bad. bad. You can just, you know, buy 10 every day. It'll be, ni it'll be a nice little daily. <laughs> I mean, I'll also be very close to uh, Chunker. If we stand right here, literally right here at the end of the chunk, we can say, we can clap each other's hands. Uh, sadly, I don't think you can walk that far up north. No? No. Oh. The, um, I think the farm batches in the southern parts will prevent you from walking any further north. Okay, so I'll, I'll come out of... Right here, right? That's where I come out of? Uh, no, that's the dwarf, that's the mine. It's the that's one the in the south. It's the one in the southeastern corner. Here? Near the portal, yes. Oh. Wait, does that mean that the, no, the portal is a little bit more under? Because if the portal is in the chunk, that means that I don't, I automatically lock um, construction as well. Uh, the portal is sadly out of the chunk. Okay. Okay. It is in the chunk diagonally, diagonally to the south. Uh, there. Right here. In the southern terrible chunk, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You would not be able to reach it. Great. That sounds like less of a grind. I also saw that we have on this chunk, we also go down the... Oh, I should add a small correction. Mm -hmm. White Wolf will not become rollable. The chunk that becomes rollable is North Terrible. I know on the map right now you see the... The, the 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 dungeon symbol is clearly in the White Wolf Mountain, uh -huh. but the chunk it spits you out into is the North Terrible chunk. Okay, so, so, down, so, so it's down here, right? Uh, no, it spits you out to the right. To the right. Yeah, so like... yeah. Well, yes. No. It, was, it spits you out exactly one tile into that chunk. But what's, okay, so. Hold up, don't, don't scare me, man. <laughs> hold up, hold up. So this means... Okay, so if it spits me out, I can... Because to get back into there, I need to go into this chunk, correct? Uh, no, you... The actual entrance is just on the edge. Oh my god. Lee. So... Where is it? It has to be here somewhere. Where is the 120? Oh god. It's not something to worry about. <laughs> Two just makes it rollable. You won't have to do it yet. It's all the way at the top, by the way. Oh, it's like the third task. God. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my god. It even says it. Master Cape. Oh no. Just don't do it. <laughs> Just don't roll it, dude. It's that simple. <laughs> oh, you can roll too. Just don't roll more heavily. Oh my god, dude, this is so bad. Oh my god. 
what what would be the odds that I rolled this before before um Chunker? I mean, Chunker is actually, from what I've heard, getting very close to finishing his chunk. And for him, it's a 50-50 when he rolls a chunk to get that one. Oh my god. So I think Chunk will be there within a month or two. I feel like... Lee, I feel like if I... If I roll that number two, Lee... That content is gonna be... It's gonna be like a breeze to go through. You know? Because it's very and like... Then you get, you get some new year, you get to get some collection slug items. You get to get some golden fish eggs. You get to make yourself a rune crossbow. You get to do your first quest. And oh you get to, you get to make North Terrily rollable for the future. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even want to think about this anymore. You just gave me anxiety, bro. <laughs> oh my God, no. No. Did you like double check this? Did you went there with your character and you jumped? And it took uh, you there? Hold up. Uh, do you want me to share the vision? The visual of it? Sure. All right. I'll, is I is, will is that with the? Uh... Okay, I see it. Uh... I will. I will share my screen real quick. All right. All right. So as you can see, this is the White Wolf Mountain here. Uh -huh. You have here the fishing contest tunnel exit on the Terrelly side. Oh my god. And it god. is exactly one tile in the North Terrelly chunk. So you'll be skipping White Wolf Mountain entirely. And. Going straight for that lovely, lovely 120 farming. Dude, that is so bad, dude. You're still two chunks away from that. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my it's, god. It's a very small chance, but it is very similar to the backstory and falls. Nothing bad happens if you roll it, but from that moment on. There is going to be about a one in ten chance of a very painful grind. Well, boys, I guess uh, it's gonna have to be the exact same way now nah, because I feel like I mean I don't know. One hundred twenty, it's a lot of experience, and it's gonna require a lot of gold and uh, a lot of farming, a lot of vine sweeper, which I don't yeah. want to do. On the plus side, if you do ever unlock Nord Steverly, you get a tree patch. And I get to... Wait, do I get to go into the mine? No, right? No. No, oh, you do not. That's, so it's not even worth it. <laughs> Look at this chunk. Oh my god, that's so bad, dude. Uh, you do, however, get a primary hunting method over here. Oh, that so, unlocks Puro Puro. That will also unlock Puro Puro. But for you, Puro Puro is pretty much free at this point, since you already have the constitution requirement for Wild Pies. Yeah, I have 87 at the moment. So it will only be a grind to 50... Uh, yeah, 50 Hunter. That should be quick. That shouldn't take long. There might be a few best slots you can get. Ooh. That sounds uh, good, actually. actually, you have Marauder Armor, don't you? Is that uh, That's the, the range armor, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you can get red DI'd vamps and blue DI'd chaps here, but those won't be useful for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, however, get some split bark and mystic for your magic armor. Oh, that'd be nice. Be actually very sweet. Yeah, I still have to go through the through the pro pro drop drop table that the implants drop and stuff to see like exactly what would be best. Those would be only bis, like the magic armor, mm -hmm. for you, unless you start counting higher level implants. Right. There are some dragon on weapon pieces, but I don't think you can use any of them. It's all daggers and long swords. Uh, you can get an Jesus. amulet of power. Okay. From That'd magpies. That'd be nice. As well as dragon stone from the dragon implants eventually, but like I said, I, I doubt you'll be going that high up in hunter. You would, and you're not required to get them, but right, it'll be an option. Oh man, this is this is so painful, Lee. The realization of unlocking this junk has just made me depressed. Just don't worry about it until you roll, roll two. All right, 
Yeah, well, I'm gonna follow your advice. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, it looks closer than it is. Since two chunks away, it sounds so close, but mm -hmm. if you roll two, you'd get four neutral chunks to roll. So it'd be a one in eight, followed by a one in twelve to actually unlock it. So essentially, you'd need to roll a hundred times to actually get him, realistically. Right. I mean, I've been very unlucky lately. Oh, well, not lately, but recently with all the chunks that I've unlocked. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let's 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 hope that nothing bad happens. You know, let's hope that we don't roll two, and that if we do roll two, that we roll more. I honestly prefer the grind star and relic out than that one twenty grind. I'm being Can honest I with you. Say, appreciate that you said. I right, let's hope nothing bad happens, and then you immediately disconnected. <laughs> Oh, I disconnected? You didn't hear what I said? Uh, yeah, you, you dropped out for a second. Okay, so I said that uh, hopefully I don't roll number two. And if I do happen to roll number two, that it just throws me completely up there. Like, I into Relica. I prefer to do Relica uh, uh, tasks than the Tower of Lee 120 or board. I think everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since that's pretty much it, right? I'm not missing anything else. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, since that's pretty much it, that does it for this episode, guys. Uh, again, it was more of a theory crafting episode. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Might be something that you guys want to put in the background where you guys listen to some, you know, what, you know do something else like on RuneScape or play another game or something. Um, it's more like a little podcast than anything else. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, you guys know what to do. Go down the comments. What you, what you guys think what you guys want me to, to roll or what you guys wish I don't roll you know anything else just send good vibes please <laughs> don't be like Lee um, and uh, other than that man uh, thank you for coming on honestly uh, yeah like he like Yoni already said I'm only here for the bad vibes <laughs> I personally rolls hopes he rolls seven followed by two and then just have both North Everly and Mariana Assault on his map for like 10 rules just to worry about it Dude. I don't want them to actually roll them because that would stop all content that would, that would, that would put a but, big dent but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but I want them to be available for right. fear <laughs> right. yeah, I also want to point out that the last time I rolled was 120 days ago uh, which is equal to like 4 months almost going to 5 I want to point out that's a long time but for an extreme, it's not that bad. For right. people who don't play these kind of accounts, they don't know. But even normals have three month grinds for a single chunk very often. Yeah, and that that's not that's not even including uh, 99 cape because you guys don't have to go for 99 capes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it could be it could definitely be a lot worse than 120 days. <laughs> it could be like a year. <laughs> If it, I unlock that 120. Yeah. Oh, God. Especially since they moved the herbore shop to the chunk to the south of it. Yeah. So you can't even use that. Can you even. can't even buy secondaries. That's just making it harder and harder on me. But whatever, you know what? It's gonna like I said on the podcast with um uh let's discuss our ass. It's gonna happen eventually. Whatever the grind is, it's gonna get done eventually. Um so don't worry guys, it'll be done. Hopefully, again, we don't roll any of these horrible chunks that take forever. But yeah, this is pretty much for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, before I leave the end of the episode, uh, be on the lookout for the 99 range trailer. It's coming very soon. I'm about to hit 99. And then followed by that will be a video with a chunk roll, <laughs> which everybody will be able to see. So I'm going to be also streaming it on the Discord so people can see it. Um, and other than that, guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to upload. Uh, no, I shouldn't. I'm, I'm lying. I will be up uploading the trailer and the new video most likely before Christmas. Um, but if I don't, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas to you too, Lee. Uh, enjoy your holidays. And I'll see you guys, if anything, before New Year's or after New Year's. Uh, goodbye, son. Happy holidays to you too. And right, to the man. viewers. Alright, sounds good. Alright, guys. Bye.
Hello, we're back. This time is now the. It's not a. Wait, you see what I'm saying? This shit happens all the fucking time, dude. All right, let me, let me start again.